What's up, suckers? It's me. I'm back. And uh, if you are only listening and not watching this right now, you're missing my puppy <laughs> pushing. That was her pushing buttons with her nose. Uh, say hi, Kira. Before we go, can you say hi? Say hi. Yep. She doesn't want to say hi to you guys. She's introverted. <laughs> anyway, as you can figure from the title of this, we are back to talk about another ADHD friendly app. This one is helpful, it's simple, and best of all, it's free. So let's get into talking about Goblin Tools, shall we? And before I get into that, you didn't think I was going to not mention that you should like and subscribe, did you? Because if you did, you must not have been checking me out for very long. Please make sure you like and subscribe as this, if this is your kind of thing. Um, it helps me find cool people, helps cool people find me, and just makes me really happy, you guys. Anyway, Goblin Tools is something that has been kind of blowing up on TikTok. I have seen it on Reddit, uh, but despite that, I really haven't seen a ton about it, which has been kind of strange. And maybe you're watching this or listening to this and you're like, are you living under a rock? I've heard of Goblin Tools, but if you're like me and you haven't really heard as much as Goblin Tools deserves, I am here to kind of fix that for you. So. For those of you who are unaware of what Goblin Tools is, it is, in their own words, a collection of small, simple, single task tools mostly designed to help neurodivergent people with tasks they find overwhelming or difficult. It was developed and it is currently maintained by a guy named Bram DeBeyser. Sorry if I said that wrong, dude, but I'm trying not to. Um, and it is the newest or one of the newer entries in this ongoing, ever-growing AI wave. It uses open AI models to help people with different brains with tons of different things, which we will get into now when we talk about the pros of using Goblin tools. So one of my biggest gripes with a lot of the tools out there is that a lot of them can help with a lot of different parts of ADHD, but they tend to miss some of the other issues that we may have, issues when it comes to choosing, issues when it comes to rejection sensitivity, when it comes to having too many choices uh, about what it is that we need to do next. And Goblin Tools aims to go after those things that a lot of ADHD tools don't take into account. For example, it has something called a chef. You're gonna go ahead and input whatever you have in your kitchen and pantry, what your food restrictions are, and then you enter in those criteria and it will spit out something that you can eat. It has something called the judge, which is great for those of us with rejection sensitivity disorder because maybe you're in a really bad place and you get a message that sounds a certain way and you really just need to kind of understand the tone of it. So entering that into the judge will help you figure out whether or not this is actually as angry of a message as you think it is, or you know, if maybe you just need to take a break from society for a bit. It has something called the formalizer, which is great for when you have, uh, when you're trying to write something through brain fog or emotions, and it's really hard to make sure that what you are writing makes you sound like you're treating the situation as formal as it deserves. And uh, then there is also the compiler, which is great for when you have all of this stuff just swirling around your brain that you know you need to do, but it's hard to put it into a list uh, that you can just look at and follow. So the amazing thing about the compiler especially is that it is connected to the magic to-do list, which is where Goblin Tools really shines. So putting a task into the magic to-do list works like this. You're going to go ahead and enter in a task either from the compiler or manually just straight from your brain. And you're going to ask that magic to-do list to cut that larger task into smaller tasks. And if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I am a huge fan of cutting that down to combat executive dysfunction, which is one of our biggest problems. The even better part is that if those small pieces are not small enough for you and you still don't feel like you can get started, you can indicate to Goblin Tools that you want it to cut it down super, super, super tiny. I mean, it'll go 
as small as log into your account on X website. So you are able to just figure out that next teeny tiny right step if you absolutely have to, which kind of takes all the guesswork out. And guesswork is one of our biggest problems when we're overwhelmed. And Goblin Tools also has a phone app, which is very important because then you have a little bit of help making decisions in your pocket at all times. And of course, as with all apps, Goblin Tools also has its cons. Um, for one, because it is AI backed or AI run, however you want to put it, it does kind of limit itself in how niched or specific you can get with certain tasks. For something that's really simple or that is widely enough searched on the internet, you know, washing dishes, I don't know, writing TPS reports, writing a resume, things like that, uh, you're going to find a lot of help. But if you are looking for something that's super niche or super specific, you're not going to get as much help, if any, that as you would if it's something that's very easily searchable or, or figured out uh, by AI. Also, as much as I love the chef and the estimator, one complaint that I do have is that the chef especially does not take into account other things like le energy level. Um, I played around with the chef for quite a while, putting in all kinds of indicators that I might not be in the mood to cook, that I don't want to use a stove, that I just want to eat something that would be simple enough to just put together and shove in my mouth. And uh, every single time I got something that I had to cook or use a stove for. And I think we all know quite well that when an ADHD -er is looking for ADHD friendly meals or ADHD friendly easy meals, we are looking for something that is not going to make us cook or get much more involved than reaching into a pantry and pulling the food out or freezer, right? So <laughs> that is one thing that I, I feel maybe might need to be tweaked if it can be. I don't know anything about AI. So in conclusion, uh, I think that Goblin Tools is very simple, but it's meant to be a simple tool. It's not meant to be the only thing that you use. And I think that it is a great tool as a supplement to whatever else you've got in your stack. Um, I would not suggest that you use it just as like the only thing throughout the day because there are a lot of things that it does not figure out for you, right? It's, it's not really going to figure out priority. It doesn't figure things out uh, in terms of project status, things like that. But as a helper, as something that can help you kind of continue to move forward, it's incredible. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. You can tell that the person who put it together either has ADHD or knows somebody who does. And like I said, it takes the guesswork out of everything. And guesswork is part of the reason why we freeze up so often. So if you want to check out Goblin Tools for yourself, it is available on the web. Just going to goblin.tools, I'll have the link in the description. And you can also download the app in the App Store or in the Google Play Store for 99 cents, which is more than fair. If you do it on the web, it's free. Who should and shouldn't use Goblin Tools? I would say anybody who already has a pretty decent productivity stack or who only needs just a little bit more help moving forward or who might need a little bit of help in the rejection sensitive sensitivity disorder area or who kind of just feels like there are a bunch of holes uh in what they have already and they just kind of need those tiny holes plugged i think that this would be amazing for you i do not suggest this for anybody who needs a lot of hand holding and help with time management or executive dysfunction or who does not already have a good productivity uh, app or software stack available because this is just not going to do it all by itself. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful to you. If you wind up using Goblin Tools or have used Goblin Tools, drop a comment. Let me know how it was for you. Thank you very, very much for watching. Drink plenty of water and I will see you in the next video.